mycobacteria first one is the introduction mycobacteria is a obliquate aerobic weakly gram positive which is straight or slightly curved bacilli it will show branching filamentous form it will resemble just like the fungal mycelium it will have few properties first one is the acid fastness which is due to the presence of mycolic acids in the cell wall and integrity of the cell wall next one is the guanine plus cytosine it is the content of dna which is 61 to 71 mol percentage of mycobacteria and it is classified into mycobacteria tuberculosis complex mycobacteria leprae non tuberculosis mycobacteria first one is a mycobacterium tuberculosis complex it is a complex consist of genetically related species it will cause disease mainly in human it is the most common cause of tuberculosis in man the other species are mycobacterium bovis mycobacterium caprae mycobacterium africanum mycobacterium microti mycobacterium pinnipedi mycobacterium canati next one is the pathogenesis of mycobacterium tuberculosis about one third of the world population is infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis in which only 5 to 10 percentage of which will develop clinical disease in india it account for fourth state of about 25 percentage of people is affected with mycobacterium tuberculosis the incident rate of 256 and 185 cases per 1 lakh is noted in india mode of transmission of mycobacterium tuberculosis by inhalation of droplet nuclei less than 5 to 10 new micron in size directly from the cases of pulmonary tuberculosis inoculation is very rare direct skin contact with an infected person and ingestion is also rare which means swallowing a sputum mainly seen in infants or unpasteurized milk next one is the risk factors favoring the transmission and disease progression include sputum positive patient will transmit the mycobacterium tuberculosis more efficiently the bacillary load is at least 104 bacilli per milli in sputum is required for effective transmission in adult patient with cavitary lesions in lung have more bacillary load overcrowding in purely ventilator rooms is more commonly associated with transmission of mycobacterium tuberculosis low cell mediated immunity as occurs in hiv infected people is more prone to for affecting the mycobacterium tuberculosis other comorbid conditions such as post silicosis post transplantation such as after renal and cardiac transplantation jejuno ileal bypass gastrectomy chronic renal failure or hemodialysis diabetes intravenous drug abuse smoking etc are the risk factors for causing mycobacterium tuberculosis next one is the age mycobacterium tuberculosis are mostly occur in late adolescent age and early adulthood period are more prone for mycobacterium tuberculosis sex it is more commonly seen in women at the age of 25 to 34 years and mainly it is seen at the older age men ha- also have greater risk the C- the pathogenic events that take place as follows the droplet nuclei containing tubercular bacilli from infection is patients are inhaled majority are trapped mainly in the upper airway which is expelled out by ciliary action of the mucosal cells usually less than 10 percentage of small droplets will reach the alveoli and it will cause infection next one is the accretion to macrophage mycobacterial surface lipo arbuminin it will bind to the complement receptors and man manos receptors present on the surface of the macrophages x1 phagocytosis by macrophages it is enhanced by complement mediated opsonization survival inside the macrophages 
which survival is mainly due to the bacterial cell wall is coated with lipoalbuminin which will impair the phagosome lysosome fusion by inhibiting increase in intracellular and phosphatidine nisotol 3 phosphate next one is the clinical manifestation of mycobacterium tuberculosis it is mainly classified into two types one is pulmonary which will occur in 80 percentage and other one is the extra pulmonary form which occur in 20 percentage differentiation of pulmonary primary tuberculosis and post primary or secondary pulmonary tuberculosis primary pulmonary tuberculosis is mainly due to initial exogenous infection with tubercle bacilli in primary pulmonary tuberculosis mainly it will affect the children mostly upper part of lower lobe and lower part of upper lobe is in affected in primary pulmonary tuberculosis lesion is formed mainly in the fibrotic nodula lesions are formed which will appear as like gonads focus and limb node involvement is hilar limb adenopathy which is also known as primary complex the clinical feature of primary pulmonary tuberculosis is mainly it is asymptomatic or it is present with fever cough hemoptysis chest pain and night sweating and weight loss will be there the fate of primary pulmonary tuberculosis is it will heal spontaneously it became classified means rank complex rarely it will develop progressive primary pulmonary tuberculosis which will spread by local invasion and by lymphatics next one is the post primary or secondary pulmonary tuberculosis it is mainly occurs due to exogenous reinfection or endogenous reactivation of latent primary lesion mainly it will affect the adult the part of lung affected in secondary pulmonary tuberculosis is apical and posterior segment of upper lobe which is the area mainly for oxygen tension and lesions formed at the initial site is calcified nodules are formed as man focus limb node involvement is unusual in secondary pulmonary tuberculosis the clinical features of secondary pulmonary tuberculosis is tissue destruction and lesion will undergo necrosis then it will lead to cavity formation formation symptom is similar to the primary pulmonary tuberculosis like primary pulmonary tuberculosis it will be asymptomatic sometime fever cough hemoptysis chest pain night sweating and weight loss will be there in majority of cases the necrotic material will leak out and it will lead to bronchogenic spread or sometime it will spread to the opposite lung expectation of bacterial laden sputum is seen hematogenous spread leading to seeding of bacilli in various parts of body in secondary pulmonary tuberculosis the spontaneous healing is very rare next one is the extra pulmonary tuberculosis extra pulmonary tuberculosis mainly is it result from hematogenous dissemination of tubercle bacilli to various organ it will constitute about 50 to 20 percentage of cases of tuberculosis in hiv positive patient extra pulmonary tuberculosis is very high and it will i account for 20 to 50 percentage the sites main most commonly involved are tuberculosis limb adenitis which is the most commonest form 35 percentage of extra pulmonary tuberculosis are affected with the tuberculosis limb adenitis the most common site is posterior cervical and supraclavicular limb node next one is the pleural tuberculosis it will account for 20 percentage of extra pulmonary tuberculosis it presents as pleural effusion tuberculosis upper airways involving larynx pharynx and epiglottis is seen in tuberculosis limb adenitis next one is the genito urinary tuberculosis renal tuberculosis is seen it will affect the kidney genital tuberculosis in female patients the fallopian tube and endometrium are commonly involved which will cause infertility in female in male epidermis is the most common site next one is the skeletal tuberculosis it will affect the skeletal system weight bearing joints will 
cause most commonly it is involved pots disease and tuberculosis spondylitis is the more common hips and knees are also commonly affected next one is the tuberculosis of central nervous system it will occur mainly in children in children tuberculosis meningitis and tubercloma are the common forms next one is the gastrointestinal tuberculosis in which terminal ileum and cecum are the most common site involved transmission is mainly due to the swallowing of sputum hematogenesis spread is also seen in gastrointestinal tuberculosis or ingestion of cow's milk contaminated with mycobacterium bovis next one is a tuberculosis pericarditis it will affect the heart and inflame the carditis next one is a tuberculosis skin lesion scleroderma is the skin condition which is caused by tuberculosis involvement of skin by direct extension usually by underlying tuberculosis lymphadenitis in skin uh, tuberculosis skin lesion lupus vulgaris is seen which means apple jelly nodules are form over face mainly it is seen in females next one is the miliary or disseminated tuberculosis hematogenous spread of tuberculosis bacilli result in the formation of granulum metas lesion it will resemble just like a millet seed in various organ it is more commonly seen in hiv infected people next one is the hiv associated tuberculosis tuberculosis is the most common opportunity disease in hiv infected person among the worldwide 70 to 80 percentage of hiv infected individuals are suffering with extra pulmonary tuberculosis more common than the pulmonary tuberculosis next one is the laboratory diagnosis of tuberculosis diagnosis of active tuberculosis specimen collection in pulmonary tb sputum two specimens spawned and in early morning it should be collected gastric aspirate it is mainly collected from children in extra pulmonary tuberculosis specimens vary depending upon the site involved digestion decontamination and concentration of specimen petros method is used that contains 4 percent sodium hydroxide n acetyl l cysteine plus 2 percent sodium hydroxide is used acid fast staining by sel nelson technique procedure for acid fast staining by sel nelson technique is smear is covered with primary stain in which carbels a strong carbel fusion for 5 minutes with intermittent heating is done decoloration with 25% is sulfuric acid for 3 minutes procedure is done counter staining with methylene blue for 1 minute is done next one is the advantages spear microscopy is rapid and it is easy to perform at peripheral laboratory and it is cheaper next one is the disadvantage it is low sensitivity detection limit is 10000 bacilli per ml of sputum viability of bacilli cannot be determined reporting mycobacterium tuberculosis it will appear as a long slender beaded less uniformly stained red color acid fast bacilli acid alcohol can be used as decolorizer in renal tuberculosis to differentiate mycobacterium tuberculosis from mycobacterium smegmatis in urine sample sputum microscopy is the method of choice for finding stool for tuberculosis under uh, revised national tb control program revised national tb control program grading it is useful for monitoring treatment response of the patient assessing the severity of disease assessing the infectious of the patient smear negative patients are less infectious other staining methods such as kenyon's cold acid fast staining is used aramine phenol technique is used it is fluorescent technique staining technique next one is the conventional culture media advantage it is more sensitive with detection of limiter 100 to 10 to 100 viable bacilli disadvantage of conventional culture media it is time consuming minimum 8 weeks of incubation is needed 
examples of media solid media example egg based lowenstein jensen dorset egg media petra gagni media is used lowenstein jensen media in mycobacterium tuberculosis it will produce rough tough and buff colonies which is recommended by revised national tb control Pro program agar mis media middle brook 7h11 and 7h10 they are preferred for isonisid resistant strains of mycobacterium tuberculosis next one is the liquid media middle brook 7h9 dubos proscar sulas and certain media is used next one is the automatic culture method this system is used to monitor the growth continuously and it is used to detect growth faster within 2 to 3 weeks and it is very expensive example include mycobacteria growth indicator it is used as an oxygen sensitive fluorescent compound to detect mycobacterial growth and resistant to first line anti tubercular drug biochemical identification mycobacterium tuberculosis is positive for niacin test nitrate reduction test pyrazine amidase test and resistant to thiophen 2 carboxylate acid hydrazin serology antigen detection mycobacterial repo arabinamin antigen 5 detection by elisa antibody detection is not useful in endemic area spread molecular method pcr detecting is6110 gene and other genes such as 65 kda and kda genes lion prop assay it will detect drug resistance from samples which is taken one day but only smear positive cases it is taken it is less sensitive for smear negative cases because it is based on hybridization technique gene expert it will it is used for detect growth and resistant to rivamycin it takes very less time within 2 hours it is cartridge based nucleic acid amplification technique it is based on real time pcr plural biopsy is better specimen than plural fluid for gene expert animal pathogenicity by using gunia pig and rabbit property mycobacterium tuberculosis acid fast stain it is curved long beaded less uniformly stain lowenson jensen media it will appear like rough tub buff colony the growth is eugenic means it will grow readily and glycerol it will helps in growth thiophen 2 carboxylin and hydroxyn it is resistant niacin test and nitrose test is positive rabbit pathogenicity is not pathogenic in mycobacterium tuberculosis in mycobacterium tuberculosis oxygen obligate is aerobic in mycobacterium bovis acid fast stain under acid fast stain it will appear like straight short stout uniformly stain under lowenson jensen media white smooth moist colony is seen growth is dysgenic means it will grow with difficulty on artificial media glycerol under glycerol no effect on growth it is sensitive to thiophen 2 carboxyl acid hydrazine niacin test and nitrase test is negative rabbit pathogenicity is pathogenic to mycobacterium bovis oxygen micro aerophilic both the mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycobacterium bovis are pathogenic to gunia pig and human beings next one diagnosis of extra pulmonary tuberculosis it will differ from pulmonary tuberculosis in many aspects as uh, extra pulmonary tuberculosis or pasi bacillary hence mere microscopy is less sensitive molecular methods are more useful in extra pulmonary tuberculosis pleural fluid reveals elevated adenosine deaminated and interferon gamma levels are increased in renal tuberculosis urinary excretion of bacilli is intermittent 
hence three to six consecutive early morning urine should be collected which is centrifuge and sediment is used for our process acid alcohol is used for decolorizer for testing the renal tuberculosis csf examination will show cobb coagulum on standing which will show increase cerebral spinal fluid pressure protein and chloride whereas glucose level is decreased diagnosis of latent tuberculosis latent it is diagnosis by demonstration of delayed or type four hypersensitivity reaction against the tubercle bacilli antigen tuberculin test it is discovered by von perket in 1907 antigen used on old tuberculin crude preparation of tuberculin bacilli was used before purified protein derivative it is an active tubercular protein it is prepared by seibert dosage it is expressed in tuberculin unit procedure mondex test is the most common method it is used 0.1 ml of purified protein derivative containing one tuberculin unit it is injected in intradermally into flexor surface of forearm hefentine multiple puncture test both the techniques are not used induration uh, surrounded by erythema is produced within 48 to 72 hours which is result as positive case if the width of induration is greater than 10 mm it is positive tuberculosis reaction if the width is 6 to 9 mm equivocal or doubtful reaction if the width is less than 5 mm the negative reaction next one is the interpretation of result in adult the positive result in adult only indicates present or past infection with tuberculosis bacilli but it will not confirm confirm the active stage of disease it is used only as the epidemiological marker prevalence is calculated by counting the tuberculin reactors incidence is by counting new converters to tuberculin test in community in children positive test will indicate active infection it is used as diagnostic marker but in adult it is not used false false positive the test become false positive after bcg vaccination after 18 to 4 weeks of administration non tuberculosis mycobacterium infection the test become false negative in conditions such as early or advanced tuberculosis miliary tuberculosis and post measles low immunity and hiv infected people it is false negative two steps testing in adult tuberculin reactivity slowly wanes with time and it becomes negative after some years repeated test is done one to two weeks after the first test exert a booster effects and gives a strong effective reaction greater than than 20 mm in width, width. interferon gamma release assay procedure sensitize t lymphocytes of suspected individuals are exposed to highly specific mycobacterium tuberculosis antigen such as culture filtered protein and early secreted antigenic target 6 which will leads to release a high level of interferon gamma it is an in vitro test elisa formats are available it is which is called as quantiferon tuberculosis gold assay the advantage of which is it is highly specific and there is no false positive conditions in this next one is the prophylaxis by bcg vaccine bacillus calamity gorain was developed by calamity and gorain in 1921 they attenuated the strain by serial subculturing in glycerol by potato medium for 230 times over a period of 13 years it is live attenuated mycobacterium bovis was the strain originally used Though the same strain was used currently due to different methods and maintains many substances have evolved during the past decades it is available in lipolyzed form means freezing into dry which should be reconstituted in normal saline before administration distilled water should not be used 
because it is an irritant it is administered within 1 hour administration of bcg dose and strength 0.1 ml containing 0.1 mycobacterium tuberculin unit alcohol should not be used to wipe the skin the site for bcg is insertion of left deltoid root is by intradermal root by using a 26 gauge tuberculin syringe phenomena after bcg if properly in injected intradermally then inoculation site 6 to 12 weeks permanently tiny round scar scar will be there 4 to 8 mm in diameter is formed in the particular area in the 8 to 14 weeks mandex test is positive if overdose is given the lesion of the scar become larger and which is irregular in size protection many trials have been given for bcg the variable efficacy is 0 to 80 percentage is noted duration will last only for 15 to 20 years which, which is not protective from the risk of tuberculosis infection but sometime it will give protection to mainly to infants and young children again is the more serious type of disease such as meningitis and disseminated tuberculosis next one is the complication following bcg most common complication include ulceration at the site of vaccination is seen and regional lymphadenitis is seen after intake of bcg rarely keloidal lupus lesion and osteomyelitis will develop after intake of bcg very rarely non fatal meningitis and progressive tuberculosis disseminated bcg infection which is known as bcg itis are reported in people with low immunity indication direct bcg is given to newborn soon after birth it is followed by most of the developing country including india if not given at birth it should be given later maximum within 2 years of birth indirect bcg it is given after performing tuberculin test next one is the contra indications related to bcg hiv positive child child born to acid fast bacilli positive mother child with low immunity generalized eczema and pregnancy next one other uses of bcg bcg will provide some protection against leprosy and leukemia bcg has been tried as an adjunct therapy in malignancy such as bladder on carcinoma it is superior to tuberculin test as it is reported by some workers non next one is a non tuberculous mycobacteria non tuberculous mycobacteria it is otherwise known as atypical mycobacteria or mycobacteria other than tuberculin bacilli it is isolated mainly from birds animal soil and water they are opportunistic pathogens in humans next one is the runyon's classification of non tuberculosis mycobacteria runyon group photochromatogen it will produce pigment only in light scotochromogen it will produce pigment even in dark but intensity of color may increase on exposure to light runyon group property non photochromogens no pigmentation in property in rapid growers it will grow within one week species uh, mycobacterium marinum mycobacterium asiaticum mycobacterium simiae mycobacterium kansasi scotochromogens mycobacterium scrofulaceum mycobacterium skulgae mycobacterium gardenii mycobacterium ciliatae mycobacterium flavescens runyon group species mycobacterium avium intracellulare complex mycobacterium ulcerans mycobacterium sinopi mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium almensi is seen in non photochromatogens rapid growers of species are mycobacterium chiliene mycobacterium fortitum mycobacterium smegmatosis mycobacterium abscessus non tuberculosis mycobacterium is differentiated from mycobacterium tuberculosis complex by it is resistant to para nitrobenzoic acid 
that is sensitivity to thiophen to carboxylic acid hydroxide aryl sulfate test is positive in non tuberculosis mycobacterium strong catalase is positive non pathogenic for gunia pick but it is pathogenic for mouse resistant to anti tubercular ducts this is caused by non tuberculosis mycobacterium photochromogens it will produce pigments only in the presence of light mycobacterium marinum it will cause the following infection mainly mycobacterium marinum it will cause swimming pool granuloma or fish tank granuloma tendonitis and tender nodules which will spread like a sporotrichoid in pattern mycobacterium asiaticum it is rare and it is associated with lung disease and bursitis mycobacterium simiae it is a positive niacin test and it will produce pulmonary lesions mycobacterium kansasi it will produce chronic pulmonary disease and it will resemble just like a tuberculosis next one is the scrotochromogens it will produce pigment both in light and darkness mycobacterium scrofulaceum it will cause a disease scrofula which means cervical lymphadenitis is seen which will seen mainly in children mycobacterium gardene is often found as common cell mainly in the tap water it is seen mycobacterium thalgae it may occasionally cause pulmonary disease and bursitis mycobacterium ciliaceum it is one of the rare and it will cause pulmonary infection next one is the non photochromogens it will it do not produce any pigments mycobacterium avia intracellular complex it composed of two related organism one is mycobacterium avia and the other one is the intracellular it will produce opportunity pathogens in hiv and with people with low complemented cd4 t cell count manifestation such as lymphadenitis respiratory infection and disseminated disease is seen next one is the mycobacterium sinope it has been isolated from mainly from hospital water supplies and through the nosocomial outbreaks mainly from the hospital acquired infection mycobacterium ulcerans is a water borne skin pathogen which is mainly found in tropics of africa america and southeast asia it is an agent of burley ulcer it can also cause osteomyelitis and limb deformities exotoxin it will produce mycolactin toxin next one is the mycobacterium malmo nc it will cause pulmonary disease and rarely lymphadenitis next one is the mycobacterium para tuberculosis which is otherwise known as jans bacillus which is associated with pathogenesis of crohn's disease but the link has not been proved yet next one is the rapid growers which will grow within one week of incubation mycobacterium fortitum and mycobacterium chelone it will cause post trauma injection abscess and catheter infection mycobacterium abscesses it will cause pulmonary infection test for rapid growers are aryl sulfate test is positive for rapid growers thank you